In this video, I'm going to show you exactly, step by step, how to uh, reproduce a project we tried last year where a classroom full of English students recorded their thoughts on a mobile phone and it showed up at a class website. You can see the class website if you search for Wordsworth Reflections. And I'll show you what the end result look lo looks like. Okay, Wordsworth Reflections via mobile phone. So the students rang a local number on their mobile phone and then bang, 10 minutes later, it appears at the class website. Running down the page, we can see all of the students' different recordings. If I press play, we can hear what the students said. Oh, that was it. This is Alien Invasion. And I love Alan. Um, right now we are standing at West End. So I'll just press pause there. Fantastic for the students to have an audience. If I go down to our map, we can see we've had uh, almost 2,000 hits in, in the six months or so since we started the project. And of course, this really motivational map on the website showing where people have visited the website from. So as the students record their thoughts, they know in their heads they're going to have a worldwide, a literally global audience as they're speaking into the phone. Uh, fantastic for developing oral literacy. Uh, it puts a bit of pressure on them. They've got to think. They've got to think how to express themselves. It's very, very good. I'm going to show you now exactly how to set it up from start to finish uh, with a real demonstration. And in just five minutes from now, we'll actually record our own mobile blog. And I'll show you what we do. So uh, what we're going to do is first create a WordPress uh, website. And then we're going to set up the mobile phone and set up the mobile phone account to channel into that WordPress account. So we're actually making use of two different websites, wordpress.com, which I'm going to show you now, and then we're going to register the mobile phone at another website, and that'll feed into wordpress.com. So you as the teacher, first of all, you as a teacher go to wordpress.com and we need to sign up. So click on sign up now, anyway, a temporary account. I'm going to call it YouTube Demo. That's going to be my username and my password. I'll make up. And uh, you need to keep a record of your username and password. And then type in an email address. Agree to the terms of surf, uh, service. And then give me a blog because you want to set up a class blog website. Completely free, of course, all of this. Click on Next. So all you've done is created a username and password. Okay, it wants to know what are we going to call the actual website. So what's the website address going to be? What do people type in to get there? I'll just leave it as YouTube Demo. The blog title can be YouTube Demos Blog, but you might change that to Geography Students Year 9 or whatever you want to call your blog. Uh, Language English. And uh, yeah, we can leave, the, for the privacy there, we can leave the blog in the search engines. That's a good thing. So people can find it because you want to have an audience. That's the whole point is to get an audience for what your students have got to say. Click on sign up. Okay, so I'm going to get an email. I'm just going to pause. Okay, so I've just gone into my uh, email account where I've received a confirmation email. I've clicked on that and there we go. I now have, it's, it says here my account is now active. And so I've now created a website. Uh, it's free. Anyone in the whole world can access it. In fact, if you look down here, view your site, I can, I can view that right now. Just make a note of your username and your password. You're going to need that again, over and over again, but you're going to need it in just one moment in particular. But if I click on view, my, view your site, then we can actually see uh, the website that I'm now in control of, okay, called YouTube Demos Blog. <laughs> All right, it looks basic, but it's working. So now we've got a website for our mobile posts, our mobile blogs to appear in. What we now need to do is set up the technology so that when you ring on your mobile phone a local number, uh, it actually works and, um, and appears here. I'll show you how to do that now. So I'll, I'll create a new window and we go to utterly.com, U-T-T-E-R-L-Y.com. utterly.com. This is another website, free as well, which offers this service whereby you ring, it recognizes you, and it records whatever you have to say. It does a lot of other stuff, but we'll, we'll just look at that now. So go to utterly.com and click on sign up now.
So go to utterly.com and click on sign up now. Okay, so we need to create an account, uh, come up with uh, a username, test account, I'll call it 54321. Oh, hang on, I can just call it test account. Great. Email uh, address and um, uh, just put in, the student should put in their email address, password. And mobile phone number. I'm in the I'm in Australia, but you put your country, and you put down your mobile phone number. I've just made that up, of course. Okay, so filling in all of that information and uh, language. Forget about that. You don't really need to worry. Just click in. Uh, I'm 13 or older, and click on join. It, then it asks for more information, but you don't need to fill this in at all. You really don't. Okay, so there's no need to do that. You basically now have an account with Utterly. And in fact, um, it, that mobile phone number that I, I typed in, I, I, that's a fake number. I'm not going to broadcast that on YouTube. But at this point, if I actually rang from that number, it would recognize me, and whatever I said, it would record. Now, just before we go any further, I'm going to show you how you can make it so that a student doesn't even need to use their mobile phone. They can actually use any phone in the whole world, including a landline phone, which might make the call cheaper. Um, it just depends on the student, but it, it also means if they don't have a mobile phone, they can still participate and just use their home phone number instead. So what we do, to, uh, just follow this, we go up to the top right of the screen and click on the name of our account. And then we scroll down and we click on full profile just here. Okay. And once that loads, we click on edit profile. So click on edit profile. Have I done that? Here we go. All right, and then finally, we're almost there. We click on account info over here on the left hand side account info. Okay, um, and uh, if we scroll down, we've got this field here which says pin number. Now, 